my name is Elena, I am from Russia and this is my knitting vlog. In my videos I talk about my knitting, crochet and sewing projects, about my everyday life and about my city. I live in St. Petersburg. September this year was sunny and incredibly warm, and I had many opportunities to knit outside. I start by showing you a new toy that I knitted according to the book by Louisa Crowder. And this is an elephant. My friend loves elephants very much and I decided to knit this toy for her. Look, the elephant is big and very cool. Uh, this is an interior toy and the colors fit well into my friend's apartment. In my videos I always try to show you the beauty of my city and its surroundings. There are many palaces and parks near St. Petersburg, and today I want to show you one of them. The Grand Menshikov Palace is the oldest building in the city of Aranienbau. This blue building is a sledding hill. In winter, slide was added to the second floor, and people rode snow sleds from it. Here you can walk in a beautiful park, enjoy the beauty of the garden and lake, and children really enjoy running in the labyrinths of trimmed bushes. Small trips like this inspired me and filled me with new energy. And this is the yarn for another project. I knitted socks a couple of times in my life and I didn't like it. But this fall I wanted to knit bright socks. Uh, 
I chose a free pattern from the Ravelry, uh, but I needed the heel and a toy as I could before. I'll leave the link to the pattern in the description of the video. For this project, I use yarn that left from various toys or clothes. By the end of September it got colder and I started knitting more and more often in cafes. This cafe is situated on the first floor of my house and I really like to drink coffee and knit here. And now you can see the socks that I needed. Also in September I visited a market where knitting fans gathered. Uh, the market sold yarn including hand spun yarn, Australian possum yarn and other interesting articles. Uh, and of course knitted clothes and other handmade things. I was looking for yarn for a new project fit for a Weasley sweater and I didn't find anything suitable. Then at home I ordered the yarn for a Weasley sweater online and I'm gonna show you it in the next video. But I had a new experience and tried waving on a loom. The next small project, yes, September was a month of small project for me. This is a Sophia scarf by Petite Knit. I knitted it into strands of Gazelle baby cotton yarn. So the scarf is finished and I want to try it on, but maybe, maybe it's too short. So I didn't hide this yarn yet because maybe, maybe I have to unravel it. About 90 centimeters. Yes, I, I think it's 
too short. I feel not comfortable. Uh, I feel pressure on my neck. I have a little bit yarn, but I think uh, it's enough. I have to unravel half of the scarf and make it one more time. <laughs> And here is the result. Although the scarf is small, in early autumn it provides good protection from the wind. In September I also knitted clothes for the Daddy Bunny from the book about a happy family of rabbits. I had inspiration to start with clothes and I decorated the rabbit's sweater with tiny embroidery. In October I plan to need a toy and boots and a cap for the rabbit. In September I didn't have any large sewing processes, but I sewed a tablecloth. I chose the fabric print with great pleasure and these rabbits make me very happy. Sometimes even the smallest changes in everyday life can contribute to a good mood. I wish you that the creative process always brings you happy minutes and hours. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.